our YouTubers and take you on a few walks. So I thought on one of them, I keep showing you about me, keep showing you about me uh, cooker and that. So I thought rather than showing you it actually working, I'll show you just how small it is and how it all goes together. And then uh, all these out there that uses Tranja burners. Um, I've got this at the Wilderness Gathering. Uh, you almost definitely get them online somewhere. They're made in America. And that's it, basically. That's it. Tiny. And uh, it's called a click stand. Made in America. Sprung steel, as you can see, packs very tiny, and uh, there's me saying simple, I can't even get the bits and pieces. There we go, what is that box in there? Three pieces, you've got a slot on that end, and you've got a little overlap on that end, the overlap into the slot, same again. On that side, overlap into the slot, slightly bent, like that, that's that together, and then you've got the centre piece, and that just nicely goes into there, and there's some little uh, slots in the side there. That it just uh, clips into, and there you go. A very sturdy, very small to pack down Trangia burner. And in that, I put my trusty twelve centimeters zebra tin. I had the fourteen centimeter, but I found that was too big for my needs. And um, this, the 12 centimetre, is absolutely perfect for one, two people. And as you can see, I've put a little, little oak handle on the top of the lid. It's a lot easier to get hold of. Don't burn yourself. And is what I've also done is I drilled out the rivets on here, bent them over a little bit. So is what you can actually do with this. And there you go. There's a zebra label. It is a zebra can. What you can do with this is tilt it like that. See? Perfect. The handle's a little bit shorter, but it doesn't matter. It uh, doesn't get, cause any problems. In fact, I prefer it with a slightly shorter handle myself. Um, but yeah, a few modifications I've done to the zebra can. And uh, inside, purification tablets you never know tea bags trans your burner a little pouch just uh, just a little pouch off of a mini packamax sort of jacket ideal for the transia so there know how the transier works. By the way, we're in Savernac Forest, just outside Marlborough, just south of Marlborough. And then that just sits nice and neatly in there. Perfect. And uh, not only is it a stand, but it's a good windshield as well. Perfect windshield. There you go, my transier burner. And uh, let's just aim you down a little bit. This is on my new new camera stand. I'm filming this, so I'm quite uh, quite liking it. I still haven't sussed out any zoom or anything on the camera. I don't think I've got it. It's only an old, old iPhone 3GS. I haven't found a zoom feature on it yet. I don't think it's got one. 
angle you down there, so. Right, and uh, is what I use to light it is part of what everybody calls EDC, everyday carry, and this is in on me every day. Because all I've got on there is my front door key, my striker light, so, uh, which is uh, Swedish Forest still, original, and a uh, hardened striker that I got off of eBay for about £2.50. Can't remember where I got it from. And uh, straight uh, dig on that. What I should do really before I carry on. Let's top the transfer up really. It's not gonna burn it out of fuel. Striker, I'll put a little sheath on this one. Put a little, just, uh, just to protect that, really. And uh, simple as, good thing for Tranger, sparks first time every time. And uh, there's your kitchen. Nice and compact. Fits in to the pot, which has also got plenty of space for other things if you so wish to put it in there. And like I said, that's with me every day, um, so I can always get in my house and I can always light a fire. Uh, that's uh, part of my evenings. And uh, sit that down there. Without water. Yeah, she's just starting to flare up. Yep, lovely. And there we go. On with the lid. Jobs are good and takes about three to five minutes. But uh, like I say, as you can see, it's a good windshield. The flame doesn't dance around, it's on the bottom, where you want it. Uh, so I thought I'd show you that. I've showed you it a couple of times before, but I've never actually shown you it being dismantled, being put together. So, yeah. Uh, click stand, made in the USA. Um, there you go, hope you like that. <laughs>